This is Jason Verney's podcast. I am Jason Verney. In this episode, I want to just talk about the film and review a brief review of this film. It's a documentary. It's a very unique documentary. I mean, every documentary should be unique, but this one, the way it's done, is very unique. I I would say, and uh, it's getting a lot of attention right now. The the film is called Hale County, that's H-A-L-E, Hale County, uh, sorry, the, the full title is Hale County This Morning, This Evening, so it's Hale, Hale County This Morning, comma, This Evening, that's the, the name of the film, it's by uh, a filmmaker who's going to do a lot of big things, I'm sure. Um, his name is Ramel Ross, so that's R-A-M-E-L-L, and his surname's Ross. Uh, he actually writes, well, the actual, in the in the film itself and elsewhere, it's Ramel, like, uh, it's, it's, it's a capital R-A, sorry, capital R, small A, capital M, so it's a bit like Ramel, but it's all one word, Ramel Ross. It's a bit like it reminds me of uh, RuPaul, if you remember that 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 person years ago, who's obviously was quite famous. Um, but it's kind of yeah, R- 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 Ramel Ross. The film itself is. Well, first of all, I'll tell you how I came to see this film. I've I've raved on a lot about um, Mubi, uh, Mubi Go as well, the the platform Mubi which offers all these great films and now it does a free film a free cinema film every uh, um a free a free cinema ticket to a particular film every week it's done the star is born it's had the favorite that film that's out uh, now as i as i speak uh, colette uh, some some more independent films and, and lesser known films and also b- big ones but I'm not going to talk too much about Mubi and Mubi Go. Uh, I will say that I did try to see this film the, the day before at the Curzon and Bloomsbury. Now, bear in mind the Curzon Bloomsbury, which used to be Curzon Renoir in Russell Square, has small screening rooms. Lovely place, but the, 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 but the auditoriums were quite small. And so that was actually, that was actually completely fully booked when I tried to go um, yesterday. Uh, as well, the day before I'm recording this, basically. Uh, so uh, that's that's not happened. I think that might be the first time that's happened. Even though, because with this movie go um, situation, you, you, the film that uh, every for every Friday there's a new film. You get a you get a chance to see it the whole week. You, the, for the whole week, you've got to see that film. You get a QR code from the app. You go in there and you scan it. But if they're fully booked, then that's unfortunate. I I, I have been known to call and just to check uh, if I'm travelling a long way or or you know a lot a lot of the times I've been very lucky. It's been on my doorstep practically, and I haven't really had one that's been sold out or fully booked, whatever you want to call it. This time I had, and it was kind of expected. I went there quite last minute as well, so. Today, I actually went to ICA. It was in the biggest screening room anyway, their screen one. I haven't been to the ICA for ages. That's the Institute of Contemporary Arts on the Mall on, um, in Charing Cross. It's a very short film. Um, it's an hour and 10 or hour and 15 minutes. So I thought I could, I could deal with this on a Sunday evening. It's a documentary. Had quite good reviews from what I could make out. Uh, even if it hadn't, I'd still want to see, you know, I very often still want to see the films. And it's a very unique, as I've mentioned before, film in its style and the storytelling. It's written by uh, Ramel Ross as well as directed by him. He moved to Hale County in the US, um, I think 2009, to teach basketball and also to be a photographer or to learn to be a photographer or to, to master his master his trade, whatever you want to call it. Um, some of this is kind of mentioned in words throughout, you know, on title cards and throughout the film itself. But only, I suppose, really, to, that's at the very beginning of the film, if anything. But I also read a bit about him uh, after I'd seen the film. It's it, it's a lot of the film does revolve around 
kids or or adolescents or or youths or or people at school uh they're learning uh, they're talking about how they want to be a great basketball player there's also family situations family trauma there's some very devastating one or two very devastating scenes in this film that involve a child involve lo- loss um loss of a life some very very sad scenes as well as very clever cleverly shot scenes and not so much how they're shot even how it's edited and how how photographs have, are used and how sped up and slowed down movements and images are are um, played out and and some examples that stayed with me so much. I mean, I was compelled to to, can, to record this review quite soon after uh, witnessing the the, the the screening, attending the the film. the The film there's there's a scene you can see straight straight from from the beginning of the film. There's a, there's a scene that I want I can't even really call it a scene. Of course, it's a scene, and you know, there are lots of different scenes. It's very it's a very arty film. And when I say there's lots of long shots and long takes, that's not to say it's one of these boring. It's that you can get those very. I've mentioned this before in my podcasts, um, where you can get you know some of them can be too much. There's long shots. They can be just really boring. Some people like it, but some people don't some people think it's pretentious some people don't um and these there's a there's a there's a shot near the beginning this police car and the lights and it just plays plays with the the imagery and it's 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 fantastic and there's another there's another scene or shot or or, or part of the film not long after that um I'm, as i say i don't want to give too much away about this but it is you know it's it's about this particular area this district if people have seen the film selma uh which was quite a political film years ago i believe there's a big connection with hale county selma i mean it even comes up with selma in a part of this film forgive me if i've got any facts wrong but i've i've recorded this you know not long after seeing the film but deliberately not reading any other reviews and um just gone in with minimal knowledge but what people are saying about this director, he's, you know, I think he's going to be, I mean, I think he's, I mean, Cannes and other places have already, you can't, you know, they've they've already kind of rated him as a highly, uh, or a highly new to the scene, but oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I mean, hotly anticipated to be the next big thing. It's almost like a new genre, like documentary, but it's kind of art. But it's, it's, um, it, it, he uses everything. And and in in this scene that I was just going to mention, in this shot where the, um, well, basically we we're going we we we, we trail along um, some countryside, which is very icy or snowy, and it's a very long, very long shot, very long take, and it's done in such a way I can't remember if it was actually. <clears throat> excuse me if it was digitally enhanced in, in by by which i mean whether it's slowed down or sped up but it was very 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 well done but not only that there's music at the same time and there's also dialogue from kind of interviews or from talking heads that you'd imagine would be there going on so you've got three different things going on there and he does that more than once in the film uh two or three times i can remember there's there's um, another brilliant scene with the baby. I think her name or, or toddler. Her name is Kyrie. Uh, I think it's Kyrie. Kyrie. Um, and we meet the mother. We meet all these families of you know these people that are in this in this this well Hale County basically. But she she is running up and down this living room, uh, this very small I suppose flat or apartment, whatever you want to call it. Or even house, I don't know. Um, and I don't want to give it away anyway, even if I did know. <laughs> I always try to be, like my, my like my website says, if you go to miniminimovie.com, I like to be spoiler-free. I don't like to give too much away. Um, I think people should see films for what they are as much as they can. Anyway, so this, this toddler is running up and down. It goes on for so long, and she's... First of all, I was thinking, is she, does she need the toilet? Is she... 
is she kind of pacing like an adult would for wanting the toilet or something? But she's just walking up and down and kind of, sorry, she's kind of walking but also jogging and and she's she's so young and um, you 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 think to yourself. Well, so I thought two things. And maybe a lot of people in this particular part of the world don't have too much to do and maybe they are just treading water and going through the motions and maybe this this very very young child is trapped in this 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 house this flat this you know abode basically and already trapped or pacing up and down but I also thought at the same time here we have a young potential athlete because this is all about at the beginning of the film, you, people are talking about basketball or talking about a certain sport, and you know it's almost there's a, it's almost like that that is the blood of that, of Hale County. That's what it felt like to me. Sport and and fitness and and um, I'm not well, not even sure of fitness, but you know just getting somewhere and being something and achieving things. Um, so that particular scene, um, I remember as well. So that that was a very long scene, but not boring at all. Quite quite charming. Um, there's scenes later on involving twins, and there's some devastating information in those scenes, which really, you know, can bring you to tears. Um, and there's a scene in the church which is kind of related to that, I suppose, where there's tears. Uh, it's just it is kind of it's almost like when I've seen videos of when I relate to this South Korea or Korean Han when there's when there's kind of multitudes of people or a room of people mourning and and crying and it's a bit like that it reminded me of that terrible but done very well another yeah there's a, so there's a few more scenes that are very long but there's also the basketball shots there's one or two scenes that again are quite long but we're following the basketball player um just i think he's just practicing but we're following him so close behind almost like the the camera and the rig is literally a step behind him you know every move he makes you're kind of swaying to whichever side and you're you're seeing the glistening shininess of his skin and maybe the sweat and it, it's it's so well done. I can't really. There's there's shots of there's shots of the moon, the crescent, and they're talking about seeing the eclipse. And there's the imagery that's used is very very cleverly put together. I mean, he as I say, he wrote this film and directed it. There is an editor as well mentioned, but I'm sure he had a big some play in this. I also didn't notice while I remember Danny Glover. Um, is one of the executive producers, so there's some, there's definitely some, you know, it's been helped by. I can't remember the name of the film company. There's two or three, there's a couple that are involved with the, putting together the film, and loads more, I guess, to get it off the ground and get it seen and put into theatres, theater, cinemas. But um, and I did also notice in the credits we had a Thai Thai name and also South Korean and maybe Chinese, but uh, they could be American, um, Thai American, Korean or Chinese, whatever. I did it did feel like it was quite a, a collaboration. Um, the music is brilliant as well. Different, different. Um, well, obviously different tracks and different sounds throughout the film. But it's it's a really difficult film to to describe. Um, I, I I thought of one one word because it it wouldn't matter how this how this how the story developed or how we were how how things kind of unfolded. You were just glued to the screen. So there's there's one there's one there's one word I'd use, which is probably hyp- hypnotic, and also I suppose if you wanted to use another word, magical. I mean, I was sitting at the very front of the screen one. That's where I chose to sit. Screen one, I just um, to immerse myself in, it. and a screen one of the ICA. Sorry, and uh, I was so close that, especially with that basketball scene following him, I was almost dizzy. It was almost seasick because I was because so, so close to the uh, to the character to the to this to this to this real life person. 
uh, and, and uh, actually the feeling I got seeing this this very short film on a kind of a night when I wasn't actually sure if I wanted to go and catch this film or catch a film was I was very I was very 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 pleasantly surprised by a film that I didn't think would be this this good you know this is all my opinions of course and maybe not everyone will like it but it is pretty amazing and but I was comparing it to in fact the same venue when I saw Tony Erdman which is a very long film almost three hours which is a comedy that I saw one one evening when I literally had nothing to do and I just saw it and I was blown away by its humour and I couldn't I was in fits of laughter this is a very different film but it reminded me of that kind of I took a chance and saw it and it's yeah, and and in the same bizarrely enough, in the same venue, the ICA. Um, so I, I don't want to talk too much about that. Um, I, we've well, we've already been you know talking much longer than I probably should have done. So I would I would look it up. It's called Hale Hale County this eve this morning this evening. Um, it was it's not playing that many places. Um, it might be a couple of weeks later. It might be shown other places, but it's definitely this particular. As I as I as I record this, it's not being shown that many places, um, and I would just check it out. I'm, I'll probably maybe even mention this on my website mini mini movie dot com. You can also find other podcasts just like this one and videos of mine on YouTube. That might be where you're listening to this now. It's also these are also on um, iTunes. It's just if you follow the YouTube link, you'll also see the um, some the videos, some short films, some talks that I've done, and also other stuff relating to movies and films, um, and some v- vlogs. I like to call them vlogs, Verney logs, which is you know just a play on words. Uh, you'll find that on there as well. So just yeah, if you get a chance to see this film, even if you get a chance to see it when it does come out on whatever platform, Mubi or Netflix or whatever, you know. It's it's a short film. I mean, sorry, it's not a short film, but it's a short feature, and it's it, it's pretty amazing. It will for the techniques used will kind of will blow you away for the, the purposes of this, you know, for the for the fact that it's been used as a, as a feature with all these methods used and also very standard methods, but a, a lot of a lot of uh, technical wizardry kind of I, I would say that have been used okay so that's it i'm gonna sign off and say i hope you enjoyed this and i hope that everyone is well i'm off to asia in a few days and i'll be recording pod uh, a couple of podcasts from there i'm sure okay that's it adios